Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Previously On. This is the week of June the 11th, uh, moving right along through the year. We're pretty much about halfway through the year. Uh, today I am your host, Lemus. As always with me is my co-host, Digital Dachi. Um, so yeah, we're just going to talk about our week, what we've been watching, doing, eating. We actually have some things to eat on camera for you guys, a little bit of a taste test for you today um but before we get into that again we'll get a little bit more uh into what we've been watching i think we'll go into first um so dachi you seen been watching anything good been keeping the star trek run going yeah i'm on season four of that also i am very sick so if i look not here i'm not here i'm that on middle ear blues i'm on all kinds of medicine yay uh no. I feel like crap. I look like crap. It's whatever. But now that disclaimer's out of the way. Uh, Star Trek. I'm up to season four out of seven. Uh, I watched Spaceballs. I rented oh, it for like the fifteen thousandth time. Movie. I should just buy it again. You should. You should. I, um, I have it somewhere. I don't know where, but I love it. Good movie. It's a great movie. There was something else I thought I watched. That I was going to be like, hey, I watched this, and I don't think I ever got around to it. I've been watching oh. my normal YouTube stuff. In your defense, you've been feeling rough, which, you know, you know is, is appreciate you coming on here to do this this week, staying strong. I've been basically asleep for, like, fighting the fight. six days, almost. Jeez. Well, but they say rest is supposed to help. I mean... Well, it needs to help to quicker. Help. Yeah. I know how that goes. Um, I guess it depends on the quality of rest. Are you resting good or well? I woke up in a puddle of sweat earlier. I know that's pretty gross. Yeah, but see, again, sweating it out is supposed to be a thing, so I don't know. Whatever you got going on, you fighting. <coughs> you must be fighting it hard. That's the main thing. Your um, wife may start laughing, by the way. Oh, no. That's never a good sign. Oh, it was uh, about your comment earlier about the beef sticks, so. Oh, yeah. I, uh, so, also on the topics of, what, so, Star Trek Season 4 already, jeez. How well, many episodes of the season? About 26. To be fair, though, I'm not, like, if there's an episode that I incredibly enjoy and I've watched it 100,000 times, yeah. I'm just like, okay, I know what's happening here. The ones I don't remember so well, I'm refreshing. That's where we're going through. Okay, cool, cool. Um... I've only actually got like two new things that will to add to this week. Most of the stuff we've been watching again, same old, same old. We've been watching Mythic Quest. Uh it's on the new season of that show. It's going really good. Um been watching our Disney Plus shows like uh the uh, The Bad Batch, which is a Star Wars show and Didn't um, the new but, Loki come out? Yes, that's what I was gonna actually just touch on. That came out Wednesday, the first episode. Uh I oh, really like spoilers liked it. if nobody's watched it. Spoilers if nobody's watched it. That's I'm your own fault, really. It. Like if here's the thing. You ever watch somebody like talk about Star Wars and they're like, Oh, spoiler alert. The movie's been out for sixty years. Come on. Don't spoiler yeah. alert me. If you ain't watched yeah. it in sixty years, you're not gonna watch it. So if you don't know that Chewbacca was killed by Yoda, that's on you, okay? That, exactly exactly see the real fans will know that that's not actually a spoiler because they already seen it what was it levi leather said in our newly oh, acquired uh property uh, oh about the filters no about the uh the true fans would know what number of ghost oh, yeah, crashers the, the true fans know the real fans oh keep um, them locked up don't need to have him out. But he's like goosebumps. You say the name too many times, he's gonna be there. Oh, that's Beetlejuice, but whatever. Oh, goosebumps. I don't know why I said goosebumps. I love Beetlejuice. That's a movie I've seen that most people probably don't know I have. That is a good movie. It's a very good movie. It really freaked me out when a guy stressed his nose out and he poked his <laughs> eyes in. I had the uh, toy of that actually when I was little. Oh, that's cool. I always liked the when he turns into the big sandworm snake thing. Oh yeah. It's just such and a good movie for its time. It really, it was. You know, there's a lot of really good practical effects in that movie. 
Um, um I watched that one movie, uh Robin Hood Men in Tights. Have you seen it? It's I've the not parody seen it. of Robin Hood. It's pretty funny. Yeah. See, I watch It's more mature ish. If you're gonna watch it and yeah. you have kids, don't do it with them around because they're gonna pick up on some bad habits. I've heard a lot about it. I do want to see it. At that time I watched Robin Hood Prince of Thieves, which was like the serious version, had Kevin oh, yeah. Costner in it. I don't know who do I know Kevin Costner? I mean, I don't know if you've, I can, I'm going to list off some movies and you just chime in. Okay. Okay. When you hit one, I'll say go. Um, (laughs) well now I'm going to draw a blank on it right here. Uh, dances with wolves. Oh, the guardian, um, field of dreams. Oh, he was in man of steel. Wait, what was he in man of steel? He was Pa Kent. He's Clark's Earth Daddy. I get he went that. Up, I know. Tornado. I'm the DC guy here. Out of the two of Spoilers. us, I'm the DC Spoilers. guy. Spoilers. He went up in a tornado. That movie's been out for seven years. I know. It's all to save the dog. Yeah, screw that dog. Lassie could have got wings. That dog killed Papa Kent. You think that would have happened if Crypto was there? No, he'd flown at him and everybody else. that was out. Crypto. Like, they just make a movie way on down the road. Oh, yeah, by the way, that was Crypto. They are making a, like, DC... It's like going to be, like, an animated, like, Secret Life of Pets thing, but it's about the DC Super Pets. Oh, God. No. Yeah, Dwayne Johnson is voicing Crypto. Oh, Lord. Kevin Hart is voicing Ace, the bat down. <laughs> oh, why are they in everything together now? <laughs> I'm just excited to see them two playing Ace and Crypto. Like, I'm kind of on board with this. Ace is really, like, he's definitely the Bruce Wayne because he's so serious and he's like, no. So it's going to be interesting to see Kevin Hart try to play that role. (laughs) That's why I'm very intrigued. (laughs) It'll be fun. Uh, So Loki, (laughs) speaking of DC and Marvel. Jesus. What? Professionals. Professionals. Yeah, you're, you're sick. What's my excuse? I'm sick of you. That's my excuse. I'm sick by proxy. <laughs> um, <coughs> I'm suddenly having regrets with my room layout, by the way. I oh, know my... that's completely off topic. Especially considering all we see is a green screen. <laughs> we well, just see you in a green box. Over, over this way, which you can't really tell because yeah. it's my bed, but over that way is my PC. My green screen yeah. only has about this much room. For, like that's my wall, right? Yeah. So if I scoot the computer over here, then I can scoot the whole desk this way. Oh. So instead of busting a hole through the wall, like I kind of want to do anyway, I won't have to do that. See, I actually did some rearranging of mine. I moved a desk around, and I got a bunch of my collectibles dug out of my storage room and got them all on the walls and shelf thing here. But I've just got to figure out a way to get this camera over to here so you can see all of that stuff I mean, um if you're wanting to show it off right now you just take it i mean i know but i just don't know how well that's gonna make our viewers feel like that'd be all right Everybody, they can look at my lovely okay i ain't even gonna lie about that they can look at my ugly gourd okay, okay let's not go up your nose okay so okay where are we at here let me see i'm going too far Okay, yeah, you're not going to be able to see much of it, but I got a shelf there, got all my superhero stuff, got, uh... I forgot you had them glasses. It's and then over here, see my thing here's getting in the way there. So yeah, and then I got all my little mutiny stuff over there. I'll do a better view of everything at a later time. You should do it with that blue camera, because it still does a really good job doing video. True. Hey, I'm back. Okay. I'm back. Yes. Hi. We missed you. Howdy. I went on a trip. Y'all went on a trip. Yeah, well, we... Thank you. Um, I'm, obviously, I'm sick if I'm telling him I miss him. I know. He actually told me earlier that I was not stupid, and I was worried about him. Uh, I don't recall this. I'm not going on the record and de- denying or accepting <laughs> that I said this, but... I said something... And you was like, gosh, I can't believe you said that or something. Or you said that's dumb or something. I said, I, I'm I'm just stupid. And you go, well, you're not stupid. 
just what you said was, and I was like, what? Coming from you, had, don't feel good. it's okay. I've had a fever for six days now. I'll forgive it you. Sucks. This time. I don't know what's wrong with me. Right, right here is so swelled and hurts to touch. I don't know. But. I don't know. I know there was like a <coughs> bug or something going around, but <coughs> well, it can bug it on easy. off. If it's like me, it's bad allergies. I think, but I um, I've never had allergies. Give me a freaking fever, dude. That's fair. Um, but you know, if you had the ability to go back in time, you could maybe fix that, which is exactly what Loki's all about. Going back in time and fixing sickness. No, I'm just kidding. He actually, uh, but so, so the new Loki series, uh, bring it all back to the watching area. Uh, it's really good so far. I mean, it's only one episode in, but here lately I've been on a bit of a Loki kick, which is weird because I never was a big Loki fan growing up. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, nope. That's good enough. I've been in on. I never was a big Loki fan per se, but I've kind of been on a bit of a kick lately, especially with the show coming out. And I got in that new book, as many of you have seen. And so I've been reading on it. I've been reading some Loki comics, which is part of the what we've been reading thing. But I'll get into that later. But the show's really good. It's got Owen Wilson, which is random to see him in the MCU, but it's also, he does a really wow. good job. Wow. Uh, yeah, but uh, it's pretty good, and he talks to Loki, and they're uh, part of the time variant, and just, wow. Terrible, terrible job. But point is, yeah, it's pretty, it's interesting. There's a lot of things, a lot of questions <laughs> answered, especially with, like, the end game stuff and time paradoxy type stuff within the MCU. It also sets up a lot of little things that could be coming in the future. So I'm very excited about all those things. Um, like I said, even though spoiler learning, spoiler warning, but I'm trying to still be a little bit spoiler free. I don't want to, you know, tr still trying to be a little bit, you know, plot about things. I was going to get a drink of that. And I decided Push your it. camera down just a little bit. It's cutting your chin off. I uh, sit back a little bit or the other. Oh, goodness. How's that? Boy, fix. Very um, good. Very good. So, the other thing that we've been watching, or we did watch, was uh, The Conjuring 3, The Devil Made Me Do It, on HBO Max. Third movie in The Conjuring movie-verse. And let's all say it with me. This guy hasn't seen any of them. Oh, that's... That that actually does a little bit surprise me because you you like the like good horror movies, scary movie and yeah I like ghosty movies. Well, they're all on HBO Max, so that may be something you well, need to come if you over. Let me and borrow watch that. Them. I'll watch them, or, or I can do that over. too. Either, yeah, or, either whatever, we'll figure maybe it out. I'll, maybe I'll come over Wednesday. I don't know. Okay, it works. Uh, do a little bit of conjuring, conjure up some darkness. When you were uh, done naming off all you've watched, I actually remembered something I watched. Uh, that was actually the only other thing I was going to say was Conjuring. It was good. Um, I didn't like it as good as the first two, but that's not to say it was bad. It was just, you know, it, it was third place out of three movies. Um, but it was really good. It was very enjoyable. It was right along par with all those. I think great acting, great writing, great spookies. So uh, what was your remembrance sentence? Um, it'll be part of the game stuff too, but... uh. I've been watching a lot of like uh, Final Fantasy fourteen videos nice. on the quickest way to like level and do all this stuff and stuff. It's nice. nice. Very handy. Always handy. It's good. Me and you talked about this, like where we live in this day and age where we have a lot of access to that stuff that we didn't have as kids. Like as kids, you had like Game Informers, Nintendo Power magazines, or uh, the Prima Guides, and then outside of that, you didn't really have like a lot of like strategy or like tips or all these top game videos and stuff to kind of give you anything really. Uh, so it's fascinating that that's where we're at now. But have you watched anything else? Mm -hmm. oh. All right. That's a lot of consequence jump. anyway. We're going to jump into doing what you've been doing. Sleeping a lot. <laughs> yeah, I covered a little bit of that, yeah. 
Like, um, I literally, they sent me home Sunday because I had a fever. Went and got a COVID test and a strip test. Either one of them come back positive, so I'm negative for those. Yay, didn't have COVID again. Woo! Called in Monday because I still had a fever. Went to work Tuesday because my fever was gone. About halfway through the day, it decided, oh, here I am. So I've been eating ibuprofen like a freaking candy factory. It's not good for you. I do not condone doing yeah. that, but yeah, because I think you're supposed to do. I think like if you take hour, every four hours, uh, ibuprofen, you're supposed to. This says three times daily with food, and I don't think with food that might be a problem. Whatever. Um, I think you're supposed to do like ibuprofen and then acetaminophen. And then ibuprofen and cinnamon, supposed to like alternate them. I don't yeah. remember if this or the other one's what makes your liver bleed, but yeah, be careful with that. That doesn't Whatever. sound like a good time. Does not sound like a good um, time. Um, other than that, YouTube been playing a lot of Final Fantasy fourteen. Well, a couple hours here and there, obviously with sleeping, which I haven't got to do much. But yeah, um. We played Grounded. We did play yes. Grounded while I've been We did play dead. Grounded. And that game got away with a lot of time that I didn't even realize we were going to spend. But it was good. It was a good getaway with a lot Which of time. Which, when, when we get that uploaded, if you guys watch it, no, we will get better on the formatting of that particular kind of game because we kind of just went in and it's a two-hour playthrough of us just playing. We yeah. didn't say, okay, in this video, we're going to show them how to make a house. It wasn't we a how-to really guy. Play. Yeah, yeah, it was more of just us kind of getting our feet wet, uh, pun intended, because we literally was in a koi pond. Um, but it was more of us kind of just getting a feel for it. Um, and it was, I hadn't played it since the early access, and Dachi hadn't played it at all, so it was very much us just, you know, getting into it. But we are, we will definitely play some more and try to do some more with that and have a little more fun with it. Um uh, because it is a great game, great like atmosphere and aesthetic, and I really do enjoy it, and I do want to play more. Um, but yeah, I do think future videos we will feel more comfortable and have a little more like goals, like concise goals for each video. Well, it's just when you're making a video, at least in a survival game, if you're going to do parts like we did with Second Extinction, it's obviously not a survival game. It's a shoot 'em up, run through, do your objectives. You can sit and do that all day because you know what your objective is. In survival games like Grounded, Ark, yeah, which I don't bad. think I would ever do videos for this channel on Ark because it's just so crazy. Like, I like Ark, but it's yeah, just, yeah, yeah. It's not something I enjoy greatly anymore. But any kind of survival game we do needs to have like, okay, this is our goal for this hour and this is our goal for this hour. Have Okay, uh -huh. I'm glad there's a car at the side just run by. Nobody even lives down this road hardly. Thank you, neighbor. Figure out which one you are. <clears throat> anyway. What me? No, it wasn't you this time. But yeah, um, we'll definitely have a better... I won't, I'm not going to say it's scripted, because we're just going to play it. We're not going to have our personas flung around, but... yeah. We'll have it laid out better because... Well, like you said, each goal or objective, you know, this time we're going to go and harvest spider parts in this episode, or this episode we're going to try to add this expansion onto the house, or this episode we need to try to find this recipe or this part of the yard, you know, yeah, um, and actually make goals. I like that. Um, yeah, so I can get behind that. And yeah, but it was a lot of fun, and we'll definitely still try to upload that earlier stuff just to give people a little bit of... A little bit of foray into it, like our foray into it was, um, which I think will be really good. Um, yeah, I've not done much this week. I uh, We had the baby doctor appointment Thursday. We had another baby doctor appointment, uh, which went pretty good. Uh, it was another ultrasound appointment. Um, it was very interesting. So we had a like a student like nurse doctor girl in there she was like a younger girl looked like she probably fresh out of high school or in college or something 
Um, she was like a medical student. And then the woman that was doing the, um, like the actual ultrasound technician was a little bit older. Didn't really care for it. We've, since we've went, we've had three or four ultrasounds and we've had this lady twice now. And then the rest of the time we had a different ultrasound lady and she was, the other one was really nice. This one, this time, I don't know. She just, she's very, I don't know, not great bedside manner for starters. Um, and I remember at one point, so like she's trying to get, and the whole time, Ivy, our baby. So when she's trying to get the ultrasound of Ivy, <laughs> there's an ultrasound picture. Like she was folded up in in there with her foot over top of her face and her head. So they couldn't get no good, clear ultrasounds of her face. But she got the side ones and got the heart rate. The heart rate was 150 something, I think. But they said all that was good. And then the whole time, the medical student chick is just, just watching. And then the ultrasound lady goes, she, she said, uh, oh, and that was one thing. Like, she told me and my wife, she's like, oh, you really should make sure to drink plenty of water. Make sure that you're drinking a lot of water because that helps us get better ultrasounds. And, uh, dad, you need to make sure she's drinking. And, like, literally, Marissa, my wife, drinks, like, seven eight bottles of water a day like that's all she drinks during the day she'll have one cup of coffee in the morning and water the rest of the day and like i've watched her and she drinks a lot the only reason the baby wasn't showing up because she had a foot over her head <laughs> no amount of water is going to change that first of all but secondly so like then, uncle. i seem to recall jared putting his foot in his mouth more often than not but i fair enough exactly so hi jared if you see this <laughs> Shout out. Um, so then she looks at the medical student girl and she goes, "Would you do you want to try? And she's like, do you guys care, you know, if I could show her a few things on here, let her try a few things, you know, if you guys aren't in a hurry. And we're like, no, I don't care. We just get to see more of the baby on the ultrasound. That's fine by us. It was, we'd already got off work and everything. We scheduled a later appointment. Um, <clears throat> so then the girl's sitting there and she said, uh, do you care to try to get these measurements or something? Uh, the ultrasound lady asked the medical student girl to do that. And she has a little thing trying to line it up and she gets it to a certain point and she's like calculating the numbers and everything. We're just sitting there quiet. And that other woman is over at a different computer doing something. And that girl just, you know, clicks and starts to go ahead and, and submit it into the computer. Like it takes like a freeze frame of a certain area. I guess it's trying to get the width of the head you get the head measured just right. And, um, like the ultrasound technician just comes over there, looks at it, and she just goes, That is a terrible picture. That is a terrible shot. And that girl goes, Oh, I'm sorry. And like that woman just takes it and she goes, Well, no, it's fine. I just, you know, I feel like you need to know. You know, I just want to be brutally honest with you, but that is terrible. That just looks terrible. And like just starts like taking back over. And then like me and Marissa just sitting there, just like, you know, it's like that moment when you go over to a friend's house and, like, if they get into an argument with parents or parents get into an argument or something or their siblings get into an argument and you're just sitting there, uh, what? you know, you're just, you're stuck there. You can't leave, but you do not want to engage in this whatsoever. And then, like, after she left, the actual ultrasound technician lady said, well, I want to go ahead and go see if the doctor wants to talk to her in here or in a different room. And when she leaves, that girl was still, the medical student girl was still trying to get some lined up pictures and stuff. And she said, oh, there's that. And she goes, I think that she's at this number on the weight or height or something. She goes, but you probably shouldn't listen to me. She goes, you heard her. She goes, I'm pretty terrible at this right now. And like, again, me and Marissa just both like, what do you say to that? Like this poor girl's entire confidence was destroyed. <laughs> We're just like, no, but the bright side to the story is by the time that woman came back in, Ivy had put her leg down and the medical student girl was able to line up and get the, out of the four ultrasound pictures we got the best one, which is a side profile with her foot down and stuff. And you can see her actual eyes and nose and mouth kind of really good. And like, then even the ultrasound technician lady looks at it and goes, Oh, that's actually a really good profile. And I'm like, yeah, now you, now you give her a boost, you know, yeah, or you don't went and, just destroyed bam, her like, <laughs> like it was just so awkward because we're just like what do, what do we say what do we do 
Um, you walk up beside her and go, there, there. <laughs> <laughs> there, there. <laughs> okay. Oh, You'll man. only suck until you don't. Yeah. My favorite Look, thing. People are like, I'm so bad at it. I'm like, it, you can only be bad at it till you're not. It was a terrible picture. It's okay. We're all terrible pictures at some point in our life. <laughs> uh, but that's pretty much the biggest on the doing side uh, for me, which I guess after talking about Grounded, we can just roll right into the playing side. So you said Final Fantasy fourteen. How's that going? Uh, last night, I think Chris told me I had 15 quests left from the point I was at during playing i played a little bit today i think i've still got two dungeons left to unlock but uh the story's great like i'm really engrossed in what they've created i need to pay more attention to the side quests i guess like not side quests like the filler story it's obviously these games have filler in them like little yeah to get through like, one place. I was going right. through, and this is spoiler alert for Shadowbringers. If it's late in game Shadow, post game Shadowbringers, technically, it told me about the mayor of this town, and I had to go do a quest about getting him to realize he needs to be the mayor. I could not give two craps less about that quest. I didn't care about that. It was eight quests of my life wasted, and I don't remember watching a single cutscene of it. And then it went back to the cut or the storyline I was worried about. Great, great. Did you talk him into being the mayor? He was already elected. He just pulled the whole, oh, I'm not good enough. Oh, well, that's sad. But he was like, they, he was unanimously elected. Oh, well, that's sweet. I, I really feel for this mayor guy. I'm, I, I really, yeah, I'm really intrigued about the mayor. I know you don't care. I care about the mayor now. I don't even know him. I've, I've only played this game once. Seven years ago, um, I do need to get. Guild. I know I I seen my name and stuff on there the other day. I just need to get uh get my time started back up, which I may do because I've really been itching for a good you MMO. Get it on Xbox that way you wouldn't have to try and play it on your computer. I, I looked, I couldn't find it on or, Xbox. Was, um, it used to be. This might pop something up on my screen. <sighs> uh. But yeah, I need a good MMO. I've been torn on what MMO, because that's just it. If I get one, I want to commit to it, and so I don't know which one I'm going to commit to, but commit myself to an insane asylum. Um, Wait, why are you committing yourself to an insane asylum? I don't know. I'm just throwing things out there now. Uh, So other than Final Fantasy and Grounded, do you have any gaming tales to tell? Uh... Try to Eve Online. We don't. It's, oh, how was that? It's pretty fun. It, to me, it's like RuneScape in space, more or less. Just no quests. I, mean, I guess there's quests. I haven't really done them, but just a f- open world. Depends on what you want to do. Game. There's people. There was one war in this game that if you equated it to actual real world money with people's time they invested and. In, Stuff they bought off the EVE Online Marketplace, like for real money, it would have cost $23,000 for this war to happen. And that's That's... for a video game. But the game's neat in the aspect that, like, say you wanted to do nothing but hunt down, like, you want to be a bounty hunter. That's a legit thing. You can be contracted by guilds to be like, okay, I need you to spy on this group. So you infiltrate them, and you hang out, and you're friends with them for you know two weeks six months two years yeah so i mean it's really neat and you make mining operations uh deliver cargo which is kind of dangerous because obviously space pirates which are going to be npcs real players may come after your cargo because it's worth money oh it's just neat oh we played red dead the other day Forgot about that. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, we played a little bit of Red Dead. Um, oh, God we did that. Fail. Yeah, I was trying to remember what all we did. Uh I was on long enough to do some sales. I had to get off early for work and everything, but I know you guys played a little bit longer than me. But we it was didn't do fun. too much. We did a legendary hunt. 
which didn't make a lot of sense because it was the shadow buck and it told us to go one area and then we went to it and the other area was like, oh, this is where it is actually. The game didn't know where it was. Yes. Yeah, it's a good game. I like it. I'm still hoping they'll do more updates and stuff. There's still a lot of room to grow within it. But, I mean... I mean, Final Fantasy's still getting content updates. Or not Final Fantasy. Grand Theft Auto's still getting content oh, updates. Definitely. So, there you go. <laughs> um, Yeah, we almost had Grand Theft Auto today, and then my power decided to go out. It has been stormy. Yeah. But it's okay. It's back on now, as you see. Here we are, making this video, which almost didn't get made, but here it is. Power's back, and we're back, baby. Professionals, only the best. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to cruise right into... So, reading... Have you been reading anything? Just Final Fantasy stuff, like backgrounds of characters, stuff like that on wikis. Nice, nice. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, I was trying, I've been trying to get a little more comics clear through some of my comics queue, my digital comics stuff to read. So I've been reading some Dr. Doom comics. I read the first like collected thing. It's like one through five and I just started number six today. Um, it's very interesting so far. It's all going very interesting. Uh, I'll say that. And then, like I said, I've been in a Loki kick, so I read... The first three issues of a series called Thor and Loki Double Trouble, which is very kind of cartoony and like a little bit of a gimmicky kind of top adventure of the week or trouble of the week type comic. Um, and then I read The Trials of Loki, which is Loki 1 through 4, 1 through 5. And it's a lot, a lot more darker and visceral and kind of like bloody and brutal kind of with also like very old school comic art style type stuff. Uh, but it was really good, really kind of intense, but very interesting. Um, and I think that's it for me on reading stuff. So that brings us to food, which I know we both got some stuff to try for everybody. It's going to be a fun eating this week. So is there anything that you've ate that you want to talk about before we dive into trying things? Mm. No, I've been pretty, pretty much not eating a lot. I've been sick. That's I'm like, I, I've not honestly been... cannot remember anything I've ate. Well, see, that's, I've not had Which the sick problem, good. thankfully that you have, but yeah, I know, but I don't, think i've ate anything out of the norm either i think most everything i've been eating has just been normal stuff which is why i came up with the whole decided to do some taste tests and since i hadn't tried new stuff but i had new stuff here i just hadn't ate it yet so i figured i'll just try it on here so uh what all you got for us tonight i got some uh, speedway deep dish pizza cheetos yeah, i guess i don't know if they're any good, good. They are good. I don't know I what them. language this is. I'm assuming it's an Indian type thing. It's salted egg flavor Lay's. Good. Yeah. Original Lay's. Nice. And nice. sour cream and onion Lay's. Oh. So I, I don't know why it looks so blue. It's not even blue. I'm, I'm, it's teal. It looks still, It looks very like the salt and vinegar bags, even though it's sour cream and onion, which is very misleading. Uh, it's a very I have teal bag, but whatever. These uh, things we got, they're uh, Bawang, like, corn nuggets. They're supposed sure. to be chili peas. I had the original of those, if you remember right, in one of our previously yeah. ones, and I was not a fan. Well, these are chili cheese flavor, and they're bigger, tastier, crunchier. I also have the Lay's limited time flavor... Oh, Nashville hot chicken. Get a look at that bag. Get a chicken there. Look at that. Look at these chips here. And then I also have one of the three of the summer flavors. Um, the Chile mango. So, um, it's supposed to be 
tropical fruity bag here. So I've had the jerk chicken Lay's summer flavor. And the third one is the BLT, which I've not tried. I've seen it, but I ha haven't got a chance to pick it up yet. And I'm, I'm nervous on that one, but I'm nervous about all of them. Did so, you say uh, the jerk chicken wasn't the greatest? Yeah, it's all right. For me, it's all right in small doses. It's one of those chips where I can eat like two or three, like eat a little small handful, but it's not one where I can just sit and constantly snack on it like a regular Lay's chip. Um, But it's all right. It tastes kind of like a rotisserie chicken, like a strong rotisserie chicken type flavor to me. Um, So yeah, so we've got several things here to dig into tonight. So would you like to go first? Uh, we can take turns. Well, that's what I'm saying, but you go first. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll let you pick which one I'm trying first. I really want to know about that salted egg one, man. I'm so curious about it. I'm so it, worried about it. It looks and sounds the best. All right, let's... Also, we will do more of these if you guys enjoy this. Yeah. Doesn't smell terrible. It looks like a normal chip. Yeah, ooh, that focus was great on that chip. Good job. Don't mind my fingers. I have blisters on them from my fever. All right, go. It's a mild reaction. Subject appears confused by what he's eating. Letting the flavor rest upon his palate. It's pretty spicy, actually. Hmm, which is weird. Thing, yeah. It doesn't taste okay. very good. Oh. My bad. Yeah, I don't... Wouldn't suggest. Would not suggest. That's why we try these things. You All might right. like them. Like, it... It's almost like a plain chip with some kind of weird... It's on it. Some kind of weird, I want to say, it's not even like a powder. It's just like it's got a weird coating of heat. Yeah, it sounds odd. Not very good. It's not. I trust you. All right. You want to pick one for me? We got chili mango, Nashville hot chicken, and chili cheese corn. I'm not putting you through the corn. I'll let you do that on your own volition. Uh, Do the chicken. Nashville hot chicken. Here we go. I do like Nashville hot chicken as a flavor. Now, I will not waste this food for anybody that's going to freak out about it. I will have it eat because I know people that does like these things. So oh, don't worry not. about us wasting food. Oh, yeah. It will all get eaten. Yeah. Because I know exactly who I'm giving this to. So put it in front of your like, face, like I did. It'll autofocus better. Okay, yeah. maybe it won't autofocus, but uh, it looks like a normal hot chip. Got a little bit of seasoning on there. Well, he seems happy. Now confused. Now worried. Now intrigued. Well, there's the heat. Yeah, apparently it's hot. That's pretty good. Good, good. Oh, not that one. I wanted just a little bit more. That one I just grabbed had a ton of spice on it. I could see the spice on it. Why are all of you that's left in here have all the spice on you? They threw the first one out. It was like the claw. That's actually pretty good. I give that a... Seven out of ten. That's not bad. Not bad. Um, now, is it better with more flavoring on it, or is it better with less flavoring? Because we have a chip here we call Grippos. The, oh, less, yeah. fla the less seasoning it has on it, I swear the hotter they are. I agree. Um, I don't know. I'll have to do a little more research and get back to you on that, because the first chip I had was hotter. But the first chip I also had was a foldy. And, you know, usually the foldies pack in more flavor anyway. Well, that's true. All right, sir. All right, pick for me. 
since that last one turned out to be a bust, I'm going to give you the uh, uh, sour cream and onion next. All right. I really enjoy sour cream and onion. And again, this bag is not blue. I don't know why it looks blue. Not as green as this. But it's not that color blue. It's like a, if you've ever watched Dragon Ball Super, it's kind of like Super Saiyan blue. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I like sour cream and onion. And usually it's like a good base flavor. So hopefully. That does not be smell like sour cream and onion. Oh no. It doesn't really look like sour cream. Does it smell like salt and vinegar? Maybe it's salt and vinegar and they just no. like you. Can't really yeah. see the. Yeah, like the. Focus. One time I wanted to focus up close. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, there it goes. Doesn't oh. really have the seasoning on The chives and stuff, yeah. Again, a weird heat. You can taste that it's salt or uh, it's sour cream and onion, but it's not like your traditional sour cream and onion chip. Yeah. The onion is definitely. There. I like the onion. I mean, you could eat it. Yeah. It's not uneatable. Just different. The flavor profile compared to regular sour cream and onion is just completely different, which is yeah. interesting. The one that's got a lot of seasoning on Oh, not really. <clears throat> oh goodness! I mean, they're good enough. Not spectacular not by any means. I, if I had to rate but this, better than probably hundred percent. If I had to rate that compared to a regular sour cream and onion, I would pick the regular sour cream and onions yeah. that we have here in America over that any day of the week. But we're also groomed to. I hit my mic. Sorry about that. We're also groomed to like this stuff from a young age. Yeah. So if you had to just give it a, like a straight up one out of 10 rating. Not compared to regular? Not compared to regular. Just kind of compared to like how likely you would be to eat it or eat it again or how like how you enjoyed it. I don't know. I'll give it a six out of 10. That ain't bad. Not bad. I'm guessing the egg chips would have been a, a, a way less. Oh, the, the egg chips would have got a one. As in, gotcha. I would never have touched them unless it was the last thing <laughs> on the planet. Gotcha. Sorry if you like those chips. I'm not knocking it. It's just not for me. So I got two left, and you said you was not going to force the corn thing, so I guess it'll be the last thing I do. Yeah. So that means... Unless you want to try the corn thing right now. That's up to you. <sighs> I want to try these chile mango. You're, you're worried about those. Yeah, I am. I don't think you'll like the corn things that much because I didn't. I like most things that's got garlic on them. I'm trying these chile mango. First things first, get a good smell. I don't like that smell. It's confusing. It smells like mango, but like it shouldn't smell like that in a Lay's bag. I mean, it smells like. It? I mean, it, I guess because it's mango flavor, but like when you go to the store and you're in the produce aisle, it smells like the produce aisle. Or like it. Oh, that was too big a whiff. Why'd I do that? Or like if you're at like a farmer's market or something. Good night. It's got a ton of seasoning too. I don't know what this is about to taste like. Um, Back it up just a little bit. There it goes. So yeah, yeah. it's uh very orange. Yeah. Bottoms up.
That's a look of straight horror. Just confusing. It's just so confusing. <laughs> I just... Here's the thing. I should say this. I'm not a fan of sweet chips. It's like, you know, Pringles there for a while around like Christmas had like cinnamon Pringles or whatever. Or like, Have you tried the Moa sugar? Burger Pringles? They're really yeah, good. Yeah, those are amazing. Love them. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. I love those. Sorry to but interrupt like, you. I just had to remember. No, it's that okay. A shout out. Maybe we can get sponsored by Pringles. Pringles. But I know Call us. Pringles has like chocolate Pringles and they have like the chicken and, or maybe Lay's did the chicken and waffle. Somebody did a chicken and waffle chip, but like, I'm just not big on Lays sweet did. chip. I did yeah, try I'm the not... chicken and waffle. It wasn't terrible. It just... tasted like a waffle. Covered well, that's in... what I'm saying. Like, Syrup. this tasted like mango, but I just, it was like a very sweet tartness on the end of my chip, which is a weird thing to taste on a Lay's chip. Like, it had the same crunch texture consistency as, like, the Nashville chicken, but it had like a sweet tart on the end of it instead of the heat. And on a potato chip, it's just an odd sensation. And my mouth is kind of like, what is happening? All right, rank it. <clears throat> there are no wrong answers here, except everything that's not right. For me personally, probably a four out of 10. Um, maybe a four and a half. Like, here's the thing. I commend I mean, it's your rank. Them. It's your rank. Yeah, I don't yeah. care. Well, here's my thing. If I was, if I was, if I'm it's ranking free. it on how accurate it is to being a mango in a chip, oh, they nailed it. But if I'm ranking it on how well I thought it tasted, <laughs> it's about a four. But because the the problem is they nailed it. I'm just not sure if this is what me personally. This isn't like a chip that I needed answered. I didn't. Nashville hot chicken in a chip, that makes sense. You know, it's like heat and chickeny. But, like, I don't know that I needed fruit in a chip. Like, if you're going to eat fruit in a chip, you just eat, like, the dried fruit chips, right? Like, you don't want the salty, deep-fried Lay's and then a fruity flavor. And that's what's throwing me off with it. But, you know, I mean, it's... If you like mango... <laughs> I can't bring myself to try another one. I really can't. I'll, I might try more later. See if I come around in the morning, but not doing it tonight. Uh, so you got, what, two more left? I got the originals, and then I got the pizza flavored thing. Uh, I say go for the original. Save the pizza thing for last, because I've actually had the pizza thing, and I think it's all right. So All right. So here's the original... Lays from, I assume, India. I don't know. If it's not, I'm sorry. These are rippled. It was like a bag of potato chips. Yeah. Rippled. Oh. That's different. And there's a hole in it. See you. Let me try one and get all one. I assume that they couldn't have made this taste much different, but who knows? You never know. I thought that about the sour cream and onion. He is now chomping down on the chip. He's contemplating everything in his life that led him to this moment. Now he's contemplating that weird odor coming from the bag. He's reaching for another chip. He's went in for a second bite. Oh my goodness, folks, he is doing it. The contemplation is still upon his face, but he's still eating it. It's a less salty original Lay's chip. With ripples. Which I guess I could have seen on the bag. Ah, see, I didn't notice that. To be fair, I with didn't you. either. Shows you how well we pay attention. Well, again, we see a bag of lays. If it isn't the red bag, what is it? It's regular plain yeah, it's yellow. Lays. Ye yellow's classic. Red's ruffles, wavy. And I eat the crap out of some wavy ruffles. Or well, ruffles. I eat a lot of ruffles, yeah. but wavy yeah. lays. Oh god. Heck yeah. Same. I dip them in barbecue sauce. That sounds good. I, I used to dip them in ketchup all the time, so, I mean, it's not a far throw. Um, In Canada, there is 
ketchup flavored lace. I know they look amazing. Markiplier we... said they're awful. Well, they look amazing. Um, well, I will try them for ourselves. No we'll probably have to order them. Probably. That's what we should do: is order like order five or six, in. yeah, and then just have it shipped to your house, and then yeah. Okay, just make sure. Anyway. We... Just let the wife know when like five crates of like ketchup flavored chips, because because you know there'll be like a, a calculation error. It'll be one of those things. Um, where like it's we're meant to order like five snack bags, and then they're going to send like five like duffel bags, and of just of ketchup flavored lace. And that's not code for money. Unless no. you guys want to give us money. Yeah. Uh, in the future, maybe set us up a nice little way for y'all to support us. So we've come down to the final act. Uh, I'm not going to finish that. Yeah, I don't get us copyrighted, you idiot. I, I also, I have a new keyboard if nobody can hear it. So happy with it. it. Can you hear uh, this? Yeah, I can hear that. But you'll hear it if I do this right here. Hear that? Hear that. that click. Hear that click. There it is. Oh, gosh. That tore not the way I wanted it to. Oh, God. Those smell terrible. Well... <gasps> I may want to go back to the mango after this. Oh, yeah, yeah them no. things smell awful. I am not a fan of them. And I like corn, so. I had the garlic flavored one, if y'all don't remember. Yeah. See, I have the chili cheese flavor. Let me try eating a few more. He just seems so confused. I'm trying to get a good way to describe it. So. Oh. So here's the deal. All right, what's the skinny on it? They taste kind of like regular corn nuts. Have you ever had corn nuts? Um, but also because it's the chili cheese flavor, here's what it tastes like. It tastes like almost stale chili cheese Fritos. Um, because those are corn chips, right? And Uh, these are just kind of like a softer kind of puffier type tasting. So when you get the fresh bag of chili cheese Fritos, it's that nice crunch. And if they're really stale, then it's just mushy. So it's in between that, where like it's not real crisp and crunch, um, but it's not soft either. You still got a good bite to it, but the flavor, the chili cheese flavor, is very like burnout. Like it, you can taste it, but it just tastes like it's flat seasoning, chili cheese basic seasoning. But it's not bad. It's uh, it's it's not bad. It's not as bad as it smells. It smelled terrible, um, but tasted okay. I give it. What did I give the Nashville chicken? I gave that a seven, seven out of ten. Didn't I? Yes. Then I, I would it was give a seven. the. I'd give these a five and a half because it's a it's definitely above the chili mango, but nowhere near the Nashville hot chicken. That's not bad. Though. Yeah. It'd definitely be worse. Oh, definitely. Uh, so you are up, sir, with some deep dish pizza speedway. Now you can get these at your speedway. They're up next to the counter. Yeah. What's their brand? Food. Is their uh, brand Speedy, Speedway? Speedy, Speedy Choice. Speedy Choice, yeah. I knew they had like a brand name. They have a bunch of different types of stuff. They had um they have cheese fries chips, which is pretty good. You should get their cheese fries chips. They're really good. They I'm sticking this protein. on my mouth and nose. Like it's going to act like an airbag and it's there's no smell. Yeah, with puffs, you don't really get a smell, man. I don't know many puffs that you can smell. This is puff. Sorry. Smells fishy. Really? 
That's a worse you, thing. You said it's stupid. Okay. All right. It's pretty covered in dust. Yeah, yeah. Obviously already on my fingers. Go. Falls apart like a Cheeto. The pizza flavor doesn't come until after you swallow. That's weird. Yeah. To be honest, I'm not one for Cheetos much, but these are pretty good. Yeah, not bad. They're not my favorite of the the puffs like that. Um, but they're they they were decent. I used I have I've had a couple of bags of those on my way to work before. They're subtle. It's not a, it's not like a Pringles pizza. Yeah. Which I do love. I do love most of the, I wouldn't try all the Pringle flavors actually. I probably hate most of them. We should, that'd be a video. Just go and buy every flavor of Pringles. Might be what do we do next week, maybe. It'd be fun. But, uh, so they're soft. They're not real crunchy. They fall apart like a regular Cheeto. As I guess they should. They're yeah. covered in whatever powder this is, but it doesn't come off overly strong. And it's, I would probably eat all this in one sitting. I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. Nice. Really nice. So that's, uh, that seems to be a clear front runner winner of your not. I don't, you didn't rank the regular lays. Um, what it's, would you give it's those? regular ladies. I mean, <clears throat> take them or leave them. It's a less Middle salty regular lace chip from America. Fair enough. All right. But yeah, so the clear front runner is the Cheeto but Puff. But here's my question to you, sir. Yes. And this is a biggie because I would do this with Grippos every single time. I don't care what it is. Is yeah. there a single thing you've eaten tonight that you would put on a sandwich? And yes, I put potato chips on sandwiches. Judge me, oh, bite yeah. me, bring it. Oh no, I, I agree one hundred percent. I'm not talking to and you. Yeah. I'm talking to them. I'll fight any one of you. Heard it here first, folks. Professionals. <laughs> um, <coughs> yeah, probably the Nashville hot chicken ones. Honestly, I really want to try those. They're good. Um, they're very hot. That's why I kept snacking on. I could, I had to go back for more. Even though my mouth hurts from the flames, but it's a good hurt. It's a worth it hurt. Um. So yeah, so we've had some fun trying some stuff for you guys. So I just got a few more things that I wanted to try this week to kind of talk about and go over and do this week. Um, my computer will get off there. Get get off. There. Again, all this stuff that we're trying, it will be eaten. Yeah, definitely. Oh, definitely. Even that nasty mango stuff. They will be eaten. Nothing will be wasted oh, yeah. here. I know that's oh, not yeah. something that most people say, but I know how some people can be upset if they think food's getting wasted because we do live in a very yeah. terrible world where some people go hungry. Not always, yeah. We're not um, doing this to be glutton. It's just doing oh, gosh, it no. to tell no. you guys what would be good and what ain't. And if you are hungry and you would like some mango chips, just let me know and I'll send them your way. Um, no, it. but all seriousness, though, yeah. No waste. No waste. We was not brought up that way. I don't think either of us was brought up that way. Well, we pretty much um, live in each other's houses, so. That's what I'm saying. My so mom we was brought up. took care of no you, waste. Your, your dad, and your stepmom took care of me, so. Yeah, so we, we very belief on that. So. I mean, I'm sitting here. This pop can has been empty for five minutes i'm still over here like getting drops out of it yeah waste not what not i think that's the proper uh, term if it's not whatever i said anyway i had a couple questions this week for you oh, just God. a quick run through question i only got three and they're all themed based on news things this week okay okay so I'm not much on the news well that's but... why i'm here to fill you in and, but, but I'm just okay. going to run through it quick because it's an end of the show thing. Like it's not going to be a whole debate kind of thing. But I figure you say I can as we'll somehow get into it. I can drop the news part for it and then ask you the question, and that's the part we'll All get right, into. Let's, okay? let's do it. All right. Well, this we week can, yeah. is 
Poor tongue. Oof. This week's Burger Week in Corbin. So every so often, Corbin what does, does these things. I'm going I'm to explain to you. Every so often, Corbin does these weeks, right? They have a chicken week, a uh, burger week, where like some of the downtown places, not like your fast food places, but like your actual... Um, like the depot and stuff? Like the depot. Uh, I've never eat there, by the way. I don't think I have either. But yeah, I a lot of the stuff on the strip I want to eat down there. Well, that's what I'm saying. There's a, a lot of the restaurants to, there. Just a little side thing, and this is for us and our producer. Mm-hmm. She knows who she is. Um, we need to call and see if they have anything against bringing in like a camera and doing like and vlogging do like, yeah stuff. vlogging about your visit. That's a good question. We should call so what doing... everything we try to do beforehand to make sure. Yes, that makes sense. So when they do this, it's each establishment will put up like their own signature type of burger or a, a new type of burger, some kind of different twist, fun thing on it. And all and their burgers are all five dollars a piece, right? Um so it's like this big fun sale thing they do. So um my question to you is based on being Burger Week over here in Corbin. My question to you is, where is your favorite, and this can be fast food or dine-in, your favorite restaurant to get a burger from? God, I hate you for asking this. There's so many good burgers. No. I've got mine locked and loaded, but I've had time to think about it, so I probably should have asked you these, gave you a little more time to prep. Next week, I'll give you more prep time, but. Well, tell me yours, and I'm going to sit here and think about it. Rallies. Hands down, Rally's does have a really good burger. It's got some onion rings on it. Mm Mm-hmm. Like, I love a lot. I love a good burger. And there's a lot of places. I like Hardee's Burgers. I like Wendy's. But Wendy's Baconators, and and I had a conversation about this yesterday. Somebody told me (laughs) that a Baconator's dry. If you got a dry Baconator, there's a problem. Then that's, yeah, Uh, it's not the Baconator. A Baconator is very juicy. The bacon is not crispy. I mean, it's cooked crispy, but it's on the burger soft. It's not a yeah. hard cut cooked bacon. It, it's just real. It's just a soft burger. It just is good burger. I had one earlier this week. For fast actually. food joints, I would say Wendy's, something mm-hmm. like Rallies, where you just drive around the building, you don't go in. Mm-hmm. I've only been to a few places like Sonic and Rallies. I'd go Rallies. Yeah, definitely. Now, a sit-down restaurant, and I don't. I consider Steak and Shake more fast food than I do anything, so I'm going to say fast right. food-ish would be Steak and Shake. Yeah. Applebee's has an amazing burger called a brunch burger, but I think oh, they took I- it off the menu because of COVID. Yeah. I hope they bring it back. It's a bun, garden, patty, cheese, patty, Top it off with, I think they used onion, tomato, pickle, mayo, and fried egg, and a hash brown. Yeah. Cool, like I'm, I'm salivating just thinking about it. And Very good the stuff. egg was always cooked to the point that when you went and like squeezed it together, the egg would just seep through the bur- burger. So... Real quick on that note, uh, I do love a good brunch burger. You was one of the first people that kind of opened my eyes to fried eggs on a burger. And the first one you opened my eyes to on that with was actually the Royale at the, um, and the Sun of Royale at Steak and Shake. Because I remember we had went to Steak and Shake and you had gotten one of those and they come with the fried egg on it. And I was like in bewilderment because I didn't know that was a thing that you could order that people did. Never heard of a fried, and now... Growing up as a kid, fried egg sandwiches is was the tops for me. We had fried egg sandwiches all the time. So then I see this guy order a, a burger with a fried egg on top, and I'm thinking, life changer. But, but here's more- here's the difference between me and you on burgers, though. And I do yeah. have to stress this, because not everybody's going to be the same, and it's okay to like burgers the way you like them. Yeah. I will jokingly say that if you're cooking it more than pink, you're crazy and you deserve yeah. to be in a mental asylum. But if that's how you like it, eat your burgers how you like them. I'm a big I like foodie. Well done. I am a well I have person. to do medium rare. And that, I, I see, I respect that. Like I said, 
I respect to each their own when it comes to food and palates. Uh, but on the egg burgers, a really good place that we got, which I mean, again, it's not something that's easily accessible to everybody. But when me and my wife went for our honeymoon down to Disney World, we stayed at the Pop Century Resort. And for breakfast, one of the mornings, they actually have a burger because it's in the restaurant there. It's just like a it's almost like when you're in a mall where you've got different counters that you can come up to and different ones. One's got like pizza and pasta. The other one's got burgers and hot dogs, but they had like a breakfast burger that had the bacon and eggs and stuff on top of it. And it was so good. It was to die for. Um, yeah. So there's our burgers. Uh, going to move right into the next questions. So as many of you know, this week was supposed to be my high school reunion. It's supposed to be this uh, tomorrow, actually. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it. Got some stuff coming up. But um, but still, it's 10 years, or it's actually 11 years since our reunion. Actually, to the day, our graduation was on June 12th. or Yeah, June 12th, which is tomorrow, um, back in 2010. So it'll be uh, 11 years to the day. Um, which is pretty exciting. So, did you have a favorite subject or class in high school? History. Same. History and biology. Not bad. I like biology. I um, hated math and English. I hated math. English, obviously, with the whole author thing. Like, I... I well, here's the, here's the dumb I thing about me in English, right? Like, yeah. I had this teacher. Like, when I first moved to North, I walk in, you know, I'm I'm mad anyway. I didn't want to move to this new school. Yeah. And I was a petty little 16-year-old. I was mad as a hornet. I go and I meet my English teacher, but I thought it was, like, my English teacher's daughter. No, she was just really young looking. And yeah. as soon as I met her, every single time that there was, you know, you... You got your little book you gotta read while they're going through me i had to pick she picked me every time every single day to read a passage and i hated it well it's because she's she thought you complimented her she's she thought you're a really nice guy no i i didn't say nothing at all to her i just like in my mind i was like where's your where's the teacher at so i thought Maybe i was a student look like a good reader oh here you are reading to the people talking podcasts and she just knew you had a good good voice for it I mean, I mean, you never know. My voice is atrocious, but that's opinions. This, our our viewers would disagree. Sound off in the comments below what you think we sound. Don't do that. <laughs> no, no, don't. no, no. Now that you brought it up, <laughs> go ahead, chop us to pieces. <coughs> so, um, yeah, history was my number one favorite. Um, well, what, obviously, what part of history though? I like the American history and like see, Roman history. Yeah. AP Euro or European history and disclaimer: I never took an AP class. I took two. If, I, if, confession time, because yeah. people are going to wonder why you took all these big classes and I didn't. I struggled with <laughs> do what? I only took two. You say all these big classes? Well, that's, I still, had a, that's still a, more than a, a literature class and a European history class that I took. Well, that's a lot more than I did. I struggled with moving to a new school because I was already at my high school for one year and had friends and yada, yada, yada. And apparently I was also dealing with depression more so than I thought because of some stuff that had happened years prior and I didn't care if I lived. So long story short, I got put in a place for a little bit and almost didn't graduate. But you did. And that's me. I did graduate. And here you are. So let's see, it's a good, it's a good, see, it's, it's a positive like thing. I mean, it's not positive, obviously that you went through it, but positive that you made it through it, that you, you know, you pushed through and here we are uh, talking to you guys. So keep that as a lesson. Don't give up. Don't quit. Do not give up. Do not quit. Anything you got in your head that you need to talk to somebody about, make sure you talk. Don't just sit yeah. and let it well up. Exactly. See, it's bad see, for you. Yeah. Um, yeah. I liked biology, but I was really good in science, but my favorite, I actually liked earth sciences more, like the space stuff and dinosaur oh, I like, stuff. I liked earth science, too. I just like uh -huh. biology because I'm about them talking about how frogs would transform from tadpoles into frogs. 
fascinating yeah. to me. Like the, oh, I couldn't. Extremely fascinating. Like when we was watching the uh, ultrasound the other day, just the things there. Like when they was showing us, like, oh, that's her heart chambers there. That's this atrial valve going here. That's this cord. This cord goes into here, and this supplies her with this. And that, I mean, I, I literally looked at my wife. I said, it's amazing that all that is going on inside of you right now, like in your stomach. There's this whole other person in there, and all of its little organs going, and all these things. Biology, I mean, in, in anatomy and stuff is fascinating. Oh, I hit a big fat F on an anatomy. I took it thinking I was going to be like a doctor <laughs> at one point. Yeah. Yeah, uh, see, I my, can't remember five things, much less 172. My science F was in chemistry because chemistry is nothing my but math. My chemistry math teacher science. hated me. Well, which I, I kind of, I deserved it though. I wouldn't try. Like I, I had, had elected, I had already elected that I was going to be gone and no longer right. on this planet. We'll put it that way instead of making oh, it sound yeah. much more depressing than it actually turned out to be. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, well, long story short, I didn't try in school at all. I wish I had. So if you're not trying in school because you think you don't need it, you need it. Now, yeah. you don't listen to the whole, you're not going to have a calculator everywhere you go because. Well, yeah. I'm still laughing at my freaking math teachers over that. Definitely. But, I mean, even so. You need to try to excel in some kind of education because you don't know what's going to happen. And, and here's my thoughts on schooling, right? Here's, here's what I will say before we move to the next question. Even if, okay, so even if the actual subject or whatever it is that you're learning, even if you don't think that's going to be important down the road, or even if that's not something that you think will necessarily apply in your life the learning part still matters because okay so for instance being and doing the author thing or like working at a, a, a data entry call center place like i do no i don't do arithmetic and algebra every day so part of my part of my brain my younger brain says well why did i ever need to learn algebra it wasn't about learning algebra it was about learning at all because your brain still needs to be able to learn things every day. So even though, yes, learning the algebra part, maybe I don't apply, but learning to learn, which I know that sounds weird, but just go with me here. Learning to learn is a very critical skill and an ability to be able to open yourself up to extra knowledge. And I think that's the importance of still staying in school and learning things, even if you think you don't need them. I agree. And that's not right on that. I mean, I was never one for school. I, I hated it. But oh, yeah. also, go to school for the right reasons. Don't go there and just be like, oh, my friend's here. And that's Party. all we're going to yeah. do. There, half of my problem in school was when I, at least my last three years of school, it was if I didn't have nobody in class with me, I was like, well, I'm just going to sleep. But when I had friends in class with me, we would sit and play video games. We'd sneak our PSPs in, and we'd do that the whole time. Mm -hmm. I got very, good... very bad. I was a very, very bad student. I got some good sneaking stuff into school stories for another time. That's for another day. But we'll, we'll do some school stories for sure on another talk. But so speaking of classes, currently we have coming up on June 22nd, great day, excellent day, wonderful day. I call it Doomsday. June 22nd, they're coming out with a new Dungeons & Dragons game for Xbox, PlayStation, PC, all that good stuff, called Dark Alliances. Four-player co-op, multiplayer type party game. Uh, looks fun, looks real good. We're going to try it out, hopefully get some videos on it for you guys. But, so my question is, you and I both have played a considerable deal of actual D&D. Like in campaign, like real life D and D. Uh, what's your favorite D and D class? Play as. I'd like to be a frost mage mainly. Ooh. Um. Uh, we did see the way we played D and D. 
when I played with Chris, we would make classes from like Pathfinder and put it in D and D, which you know, yeah, not do that. It's whatever. I was always a dragon, dragon sorcerer that used ice, fire, and water magic. I think. Nice. I remember that. You remember all of it. My favorite, which actually was I do also like what archers I played, too. that comes around to my favorite class, I think, in D and D. And when we played with Chris, I remember is ranger. I just love the ranger class. Um, you would really like. You need to play ranger on Final Fantasy because it turns into a bard at level thirty, and you literally can pull out a harp or whatever and play music on it. That's awesome. Yeah, I really loved my character when we played there because I think oh, I for remember. my race, for my race, I did have to pull from Pathfinder because I don't think my race was in D and D, which was a Kitsune, which was the fox yeah. spirit, and I got to play a fox ranger, which was a Kitsune ranger, which was amazing and so much fun. Um, you got it a was very, very unique kill shot. I will say that. Well, also like just I didn't I didn't realize it at the time. This was before. Now this was. Oh, it had to be before. I'm going to Google this just to be sure. But um, it had to have been before. Before what? You got us all in suspense here. Man, I might not have been. Okay, my character... Oh, my before Green Arrow. No, I was going to say before Guardians of the Galaxy. Ooh. Because my my Kitsune Ranger was very much Rocket Raccoon esque his personality. I realize now, especially because everybody kept talking like they were going to skin him for a coat, and I had to keep yelling at people to leave my coat alone. And they kept locking me in a little cage when we was on the boat. Anyhow, fun times. But yeah, so I figured it'd be fun to see favorite D and D class, which mine is Ranger, um, Ranger slash. Um, Aragorn is my favorite character in uh, Lord of the Rings, and like he was a ranger, and I just love the whole like the cloak and the oh, bow and arrow and running through the woods. Good times. I, I like Necromancer too, which is a completely weird class to play in most games. I have a good song I should send you if you like Necromancer. I do like Necromancers a lot. Uh, speaking of which, in Final Fantasy XIV, the new class coming out is called Reaper. It's got a big old scythe. Oh, I love the Grim Reaper. I have an obsession with death. It's kind of weird. Outside of Ranger, the next one I would say probably... I see you like a Paladin or Cleric. I was going to say Paladin. I was actually leaning towards Paladin. Well, see, so... a Paladin in D&D is much different than in most other games because a Paladin in D&D... Uses their power to set stuff on fire. Ooh, like they use holy fire. I like I like well, I like fire in like games and like comics and stuff. <laughs> I don't. I'm not a pyromaniac by no means. Trust me, people. I do have like four lighters in there, but I don't even smoke, which makes me sound like more of a pyromaniac. But still, it's because they have cool designs on them. Okay, people. I, mean, um, I like I'll, to catch stuff on fire, but it's me. Yeah, I mean, you know, as long as uh, you're safe with it. And Smokey Bear, only you can prevent them forest fires that you started. So I think that's going to bring us to the end of this week's episode. So thanks for joining us for the week of June 11th. Be back next week with some fun topics, some fun things to say and talk about. Um, It's been a fun, fun little episode this one has. It's a lot later than our normal episode. And I know you're feeling rough a little under the weather, so thanks for coming out and uh and uh doing this video with me, brother. And uh we'll definitely try to keep keep some content going for you viewers out there and yeah, comment below, let us know what you want to see, what you liked about this one, just any thoughts, comments, concerns. If you disagree uh, with our thoughts on these chips, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Let us know. If you like um, the chili flavor. If you like our voices or don't like our voices, you let us know. That's your own fault. You're one said that. I know. Um, yeah, just get up with us. Let us know. Uh, like I said, got big things coming. I've got some ideas working, brewing for video ideas and also some, hopefully in the future, 
for like a Patreon or a subscription type thing to get some extra content out for you guys. Um, also, yes, me and you had talked about it, but if do you guys have any suggestions of what we should call our community fan base? Yeah, true. Down for it. Let's hear some some suggestions. Yeah, all right. It's we've talked about like supers. We've talked about capes, cape army, cape crew. We've talked about the dynamics, the uncannies. We've come up with a, a bunch of different ideas worth throwing around, but we'll see what you guys got. Um, what kind of community names, what kind of crew you guys want to call yourselves uh, as I mean, our fan we're, base. We're superhero-based, obviously, but we it's can also be open. Like very nerdy, yeah, very nerdy, geeky, <clears throat> pop culture just anything fun and relaxed. Um, so, yeah, so just... Uh, Comment below and let us know, and we will see you guys next week. Peace.